powerful. It is so great. This law is called the law of attraction. Now, the law of attraction says that you attract to your life situations and people in harmony with your dominant thought. Now, let me explain this again. You attract to your life people and situation, not only situations, but also people in accordance with your dominant thought. So if your dominant thought is success, is uh, achieving your goals, you will achieve or you will attract in your life uh, situations that will lead you to this success. You will attract to your life people that will help you in this success. The, as a matter of fact, once you understand this law and start practicing this law, you would think that there is a conspiracy to make you successful. That you think that things are working in a certain way uh, that, that's even sometimes scary. That how things will work out to help you get, get the things that, uh, that you want to achieve. It's very amazing. The law of attraction is very powerful. It, it, you start, once you open up your mind and you start thinking and making your dominant thought, dominant thought, in your head about something you will attract in your life such situations and people that are in accordance with your dominant thought by the way this is something was this specific thing was mentioned in Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that well in general that bad women are for bad men and bad men are for bad women and good men are for good good women and bad men are for bad women well, this is the exact translation, but in general, in Quran, in the Arabic terms, it came a little bit uh, uh, more uh, comprehensive, where it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it encompasses more that, in general, the bad things are for the bad ones, and the good things are for the good ones, which means that those who are good, the, those who are they, they, they have a quality of certain thing and they always always thinking of this quality they will attract such things to their lives and same thing for the bad or evil ones so this is a very important concept and it, it is so powerful because as I said once we understand this law and start applying this law and changing our thoughts and the way we look at things we will see things in, in a totally different paradigm. We will see things from a totally different view. So remember that these laws work all the time. These laws work whether you like them or not. These laws work with, in any place. These laws work whether you believe in them or not, or you, you know of them or not, irrespective. So uh, a wise man once says, we cannot change the laws. We, we, we can only change our, our lives to adapt the laws. Let's think back of the law of gravity. We mentioned this example before. You, you cannot change the law of gravity. Well, even you want to, if you want to defy it, you can defy it for probably uh, a limited amount of time. For example, when, when you travel using a plane, yes, you, you defeat this law for a specific period of time by exerting certain uh, energy and, uh, and uh, power. So you can be at least away from the, uh, this, this for a while. But after that, you have to come back. This is very important. And the same thing for these laws. And if, if we don't understand these laws, we might get in circles and circles and circles in our lives, and we never get uh, a way out of it. And we, we don't even uh, realize that, that we are uh, going nowhere. And the, the, what I'm trying to say here is that these mental laws, it, it, we have to think differently to change the thinking process that we have so we can build a different personality inside because everything starts with the thought everything starts and is created by your first thought every successful person once had a thought he started from an idea think of any successful person think of any person on earth who achieved anything close to you or on a global scale anybody who was able to achieve anything was able to achieve it because he had an idea and he stuck to this idea, he worked on this idea, and he, it, this idea became reality. Or maybe it didn't become reality in his lifetime, it became afterward, but no one, no one started to change without understanding the universal laws. As I mentioned before, Allah has stated in Quran that Allah verily and truly will not change the status of people 
unless they change the status of themselves, they change the, in, the, their interior. So what it means that no change will happen on the exterior life of people unless they change their interior. And which means that you have to change things internally to change on the external world. Now, the, here, is, here is a very, very exhilarating idea. Change your thoughts, change your life. Change your thoughts, change your life. If you change your thoughts from, a, from the thoughts of inability, from the thought of uh, uh, uselessness, worthlessness, to the thoughts of, well, achieving, uh, getting the maximum of life, doing uh, what you want to do, uh, which is, of course, lawful and according to Islam, then you will change your life. And this is so exciting, so exhilarating, because now you will be able for the first time to see that you can predict what you're going to have in the future. You can know exactly how you can uh, put together things in mind to achieve and achieve them and exceed them and you go on and on and on in your life from one achievement to another achievement. So let me just uh, quickly mention these universal laws again for you. We said that, well, the first law is the law of control. That the law of control it is that it, everything that happens in life, you are responsible about. You are in full control of how, what happens to, to you in life. We mentioned also about the law of cause and effect, that everything happens for a reason. Everything in this world happens for a reason. And there is nothing that happens without a reason. And there are reasons for success, there are reasons for failure. We also mentioned uh, the law of uh, belief, that whatever you passionately believe in becomes your reality. Uh, uh, and we said the only limiting thing for yourself is yourself. Nobody can put limits on you except you. Even if people talk about uh, limiting you, they can only limit you because you accept that. And if you don't accept it and you think beyond it, you will never be uh, managed by people and their, their expectation. You will always be what you want to be. And finally, the law of attraction which states that you attract to your life people and situation in accordance with your dominant thought. Now, as I said, let's always try to build our lives around these universal laws and next time I'm going to talk about the three grand laws which are very, very exciting and we're going to introduce to you some of the grand laws that go in this universe way and beyond the universal laws and we will talk about them extensively. See you next time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.